Have you been wanting to see an unboxing of T the Tamed Wild subscription box? That's coming up right after this. Welcome to my channel. I'm Mel from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner, the creator, the operator. And if you're new to me, welcome. If you're an old friend, welcome back. I try to post witchy, spiritual, tarot, or astrology information and tips and tricks every Wednesday here on YouTube. So if you like this video or anything else that I post, please subscribe, share, like, and comment below. For those of you who are old friends or new friends, either way, just a reminder, it is Mercury Retrograde right now and for some reason my phone, which is what I film on, is acting a little wonky. So I really want to unbox this with you guys for you to see this first time. I don't know what it is doing. Hopefully we will get through this and it will be fine. Um, I did a subscription box from Tamed Wild. For the very first time, I decided to try one. I just, I signed up, I ordered one box. I've been very interested in their products for a very long time, and I may even someday partner with them. We'll see, I haven't decided yet, but I wanted to try their products. I haven't tried it, and I have a lot of friends that use their products and love them. So I thought, what a fun way to check it out. So this just came in the other day, and I have, as you can see, it's literally still in the box, this, the packaging. This is the size, okay? It's not gigantic like the witch's box, but I saw that there's a lot of items in it. I think I paid $20, I want to say, for this, so it is very reasonably priced. Me being a Scorpio and a Capricorn ascending, I'm ridiculous about money. I'm very budget-friendly and very, very tight with my money. So that really made me go, ooh, I can get a bunch of things for $20. Let's definitely check this out. So I am seeing this for the first time. I have avoided, it is, as I'm filming, it is October. I'm not even sure I have to check on my, October 8th. <laughs> it is October 8th. And when I post this, it'll be on Wednesday. Today is a Friday. Um, but the, the products, I have never seen them. I haven't watched any walkthroughs for the month of October. I think this is the October box. It wasn't super clear when I ordered it, but I didn't really care because it was $20 and I wanted to try it out. I think it's the October box. So without further ado, I'm going to open this up and we're going to check it out together. Now, just as a reminder, if you've never seen me do any unboxings or any kind of things like that, this is going, the print is going to be backwards and I will insert things throughout the video showing you the actual, when I'm editing, throughout the actual, what the proper print is. So the box right away is really pretty. It has all these little decoratives on it. On the back, as you know, it is backwards and I will insert right after this what it actually looks like with the little picture, but it says, with love from Tamed Wild. And then it says tamedwild.com with the moon phases. So, so far so good. So let's see what's in here. I'm so excited. I'm not sure how to open it. So you guys get to watch me figure this out. If you haven't noticed, I chopped my hair off too. I'll chat while, while I'm doing this. I chopped my hair off from last video to this video. I've been having a lot of hair struggles and I'm actually going to be doing a video about that, but, ooh, okay, but anyway, cutting hair in general, I wanted to mention how nice it is to chop hair sometimes. I, I've always done this since I was a kid. I'll grow my hair long and then I cut it off for the summer and it's just so much lighter. You let go, hair holds so much energy and by chopping it, you're releasing all that energy. Like it's just gone. So it's nice. Okay. So. Oh my God, I'm so excited because <laughs> it's like Christmas. You don't know what you're getting. All right. And I'm not sponsored here. I'm not, but I, this is my first time I've tried this. So this is Tamed Wild. 
wild medicine um it's a why and i've actually i've actually been looking at this it's a little booklet okay and it's literally and and the the first page says simply stated plants are magic connecting with the plants around us is a wonderful way to put our roots down both metaphorically and literally Connecting with the plants of our ancestors is an avenue to learn more about the magic of those that came before us. As a green witch of European descent, living in Brooklyn, raised in Michigan, these plants are ones that have appeared most frequently in my herbalism studies. They are not exhaustive and should not be a replacement for your own study or professional medical advice. Any medical actions described in these texts should be studied from a historical or folklore perspective and plants should be only ingested under the careful guidance of a professional who's intimately aware of your medical history. That being said, enjoy your wanderings through these pages and all the stories that these plants have to author. offer. Blessings, Kate Bilo. It's, 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 it's um, script, so I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. If, that, if those are E's or A's, I think they're E's. Yeah, they're A's. And then it gets into it. So aloe vera, it goes over everything about aloe vera, botanical name, description, historical uses, magical uses, lore, and then it goes on to the next one and the next one. Oh, this is so cool. There's not many pictures, but that's okay. Who cares? Oh, this is awesome. And in the back, let's see if, what else there is. So it's basically like a little encyclopedia, a little wild medicine encyclopedia. There's an index in the back. So I will definitely be using this. Oh my gosh. Okay. And maybe I'll do a walkthrough of this later. And then there is... Oh, I think this is like with the witch's box. There, there's like cards that tell you what's coming. So this was right on top when I opened the box. So this is what it looks like inside. So let's see what else we got. I got a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I think this was the September box. This was the September box. Because I, I did order. I did place my order in September. But I wasn't sure if I was getting it in time for September. So this is the September box. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I gotta find the camera. This is a moon, crescent moon charm. There's a link on it. I hope it's focusing. It's not focusing. Come on. There we go. So that's what that looks like. Back on me, please. Thank you. So that's what, and it came in this pretty little muslin tamed wild bag then there's some kind of oh here it is here so there's a description thing right here so there's incense cone incense and it actually smells really good. And for those of you who know me or who have been following me for a while, I suffer from migraines and they are often triggered by smell. So I'm very picky with incense and it smells good at, sometimes with incense, it can be very tricky for me. The incense could smell good in the package. And then when I burn it, it bothers me. So I have to wait and see what it's like. <coughs> Excuse me. This says, Kona incense, place the Kona incense in a burn safe bowl and let it smolder as you craft your ancestral offering. You can use the incense to represent the element of air on your altar, a pentagram, or in your home. Okay. Oh, and there's a little um, summary of the medicine booklet. So the medicine booklet says, learn about a hundred magical and medicinal plants in our wild medicine booklet. Within this book, we've included the historical uses of each herb, forgotten plant lore, and suggestions for incorporating flowers, spices, and flora of all kinds into ritual and spell work. For this ritual, we, cre we will create an ancestral offering in the form of a tea blend and a simple snack or a favorite meal. Use this booklet as a guide when choosing ingredients for the recipe to learn more. So, 
I'll continue to look at that in a minute. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> then there is a little, I mean, it's little. My hands are very small. I have child size hands. A very little tiny, let's see if it'll focus on the spoon, please. Yes, a very teeny tiny spoon. I'm gonna take a, oh no, I can get it this way. Let me take it out of the thing. It has this beautiful engravement that looks kind of like a leaf, like this is a leaf. So it's a little spoon for tea or for herbs. It doesn't, oh, leaf spoon. It says it right there. So leaf spoon, see? Oh, I'm glad I can show it to you guys. Perfect for stirring tea or scooping herbs from jars. Incorporate this delicate spoon into your home apothecary or kitchen altar as you see fit. So I make a lot of teas, a lot of teas, but also it would be good for any kind of herbal, like scooping up, like I need a little bit of coffee in a spell or I need a little bit, because I just did something with instant coffee and it was, I took a huge teaspoon, which I really didn't need. Okay, this next one, and this is how I know it's the September one because I've seen the September people and the thing that's coming after this, I'm actually really excited for. So this is the, the Maybon or Mabon, depending on how you pronounce it. This is Mabon Artisanal Herbal Tea, and I will take a better picture of this so you guys can see it. This is what it looks like inside. And it contains black tea, orange peel, cinnamon, and natural fruit flavoring, and all at once summer collapsed into fall. Ooh. Sorry guys, I was blurry. Black tea is known for its antioxidant properties while orange is said to aid in migraines. Look at that, migraines and head pain. For the mystics, this blend honors the turn of the wheel and the second harvest in the season of three. It's a little sample of it. And I know you can buy these from their website in bigger, but I think that this is like a small one so that you can get a little taste of everything. And this, is the Peace de Resistance. And I can't believe I lucked out. This is actually what I want, why I was like, oh, I really, really wanna get a, a, a subscription box. And I really didn't think I was gonna get this one. So I am, luck was on my side. Okay, this is adorable. And I saw pictures of it. So this is a half apron that you can wear when you're gathering your herbs when you're cooking, when you're working on your spices, when you're doing stuff with herbal, and it has these beautiful long cords, and it just, it's for kitchen witchery or herbal witchery. I don't know if you guys can see it because I can't see the camera. And it has a tamed wild tag on the back of it. I'm gonna take a good picture of this after and post it so you guys can see it. It's, it's beautiful, and there's three pockets. I saw this on their Instagram because I follow them on Instagram. So this is going to do me, when gathering things outside, ah, you can just throw it in the apron, put it in the pockets very gently instead of having to carry things with you. You can put like little scissors or clippers. And that's everything. So now the box is empty. Here comes a little stuffing. So, and the apron is called a half apron. Many things make us feel magical from the tools we use, even books we read. It's a half apron. And it talks more about the half apron. Oh, and the charm is a Persephone amulet. She's the springtime maiden, queen of the underworld, and keeper of mysteries. So, and then there's a whole write-up about that. So, lots of little goodies. I think, is this worth it for $20? I do think so. I do think so. I really wanted this. I had my eye on this. I was going to purchase it separately. I'm not sure how much it is separately. I will look it up on their website and I'll link it, I'll write it down below. And this, is hand, I'm pretty sure it's handmade, and I've been I've been eyeing buying this individually if I didn't get the box itself. So I do feel, and I will absolutely use this. 
Um, if you watch my witch's box one, the stuff that I got in the witch's box, I was honestly disappointed with because it was items that I felt like I could have purchased anywhere. And except for one item that was handmade, but everything else I felt I could purchase anywhere and at a cheaper cost. And I felt like it wasn't worth it because it was like $75, $80 and I was disappointed with it. This totally worth $20 unique, one of a kind, all of them items that you can only get from Tamed Wild. Love it. Okay, so I hope that you guys liked this. Let me know what you think. I will likely be trying to partner with this company in the future if I like their products as I use the as I use them and I think I probably will. I've heard really great things about them from other people that I am friends with that use their products who I trust and I value their opinions. Um, like me, they are very it needs to be worth the money. It needs to have good quality products and the company is a really well run company. So I come from a customer service place. I worked in customer service for 12 years before becoming a teacher. Then I worked for, as a teacher for many, many years. And it's, if you wanna keep your customers happy, you need to give quality things and have quality customer service. So I am, I'm kind of a tough customer. But I feel like this is, I'm really excited about this. I feel like this is a good, this was a good purchase. Let me know down below if you've ever worked with anything with Tamed Wild, it, what you think about it. And that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.